Welcome to another IT Quality Site tutorial video. Uh, today we're looking at changing the install location for App Store apps. Um, I use on my computer, uh, my physical computer, a small 150 gigabyte hard drive for my copy of the operating system, and I have a separate uh, two terabyte hard drive where I install all my programs and other. Uh, bits of information. Um, however, I've noticed that by default uh, the App Store uh, only installs its apps uh, onto your uh, main hard drive where your operating system is installed, so that's your C drive. Uh, and when you install a new app, there's not actually an option to change that installation location. Uh, there is, however, a workaround, uh, which is what I'm going to show you now. And we'll use the BBC News because it's pretty small. So, uh, if we go to desktop, and I'll just show you that I've got two hard drives on this virtual computer, uh, C and E. C is our Windows installation, and that's where all the apps are currently installed, and we we'll actually want to put them into E. We'll create a little folder called Apps, just to keep things tidy. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is open uh, your registry editor. Uh, now you can press the Windows key and the R key to pull up the run box and then you'll press uh, type in reg edit, reg edit into the uh, run box and that will load the program for you. Uh, or you can do it from here by just finding the right option and if we press run and again that brings up the run box and then we just type in reg edit it, press OK or click return, press yes, and here we get the registry editor. Now you need to find your way to we'll do it pulled up. You'll see at first just these four lists. Five lists even. And you want HQ local machine, software. Microsoft Windows current version and APX and you'll see in the APX folder package root double click on that and you'll see a value data which is the uh, current installation directory for any apps that you install through the App Store. And if we change that value, the apps are installed to a different location. So we want to install them to E, which is the drive letter for our other hard drive, and the folder we've created, which is apps. Press OK. And here we can see that E apps is now the installation folder for apps that we installed through the App Store. Now it's possible you'll get a little error message pop up uh, when you attempt this, uh, and that error message relates to uh, you not having permission to change any information within package root. If you get that message, just right click on the APX folder, click permissions, click advanced, and here where you see it says owner, it won't say administrators Robert, uh, it will say uh, installation something or other and you'll click change, you'll type in administrators press OK and that will change you to the owner because uh, your default user, uh, username will be an administrator account and you just press apply, click OK and then you'll set yourself administrators. The full control box will be unchecked, so you'll check it. You'll click apply again, click OK, and then you can alter that file and it'll let you do so. And that's just if you get that error message. Uh, once you've edited the file, before the settings seem to take effect, you need to do a reboot. restart. Uh, there are some downsides to this uh, workaround. Um, 
namely being that any apps that are already installed to your computer uh, to the original installation location won't be updated um, so when updates are released through the app store you won't be able to update those apps um, you can uninstall your apps and then reinstall them to the new installation location that you've chosen and then they should update fine however it seems that some of the default uh, apps that are loaded when you install your copy of Windows 8 such as Internet Explorer can't be uninstalled and reinstalled at a new location <coughs> excuse me um, so those apps probably won't update uh, although hopefully they'll update through the Windows update as opposed to through the App Store uh, I'm rather hoping that at some point Microsoft will release uh, a patch uh, that will give us uh, better control of where we can install apps, perhaps even giving us the option to install from another location or letting us change it uh, sort of officially uh, through uh, a control panel setting uh, as opposed to altering the registry and perhaps when Microsoft add in that functionality uh, the installation location won't matter so much and we'll be able to install apps uh, somewhere else without uh, affecting them and be able to let them update. So we'll just check that that's worked. If we go into the store and we'll install an app and we'll see if it's installed to the new location. So we'll install the BBC News app since that's tiny and shouldn't take long to download. this last time. The app store seems to be a little bit temperamental. There we go. So it is installing. Application installed. So there we can see our BBC News app and if we just go to the desktop and file explorer computer e apps and there we can see the folder that contains our BBC News app you can see it's BBC News Mobile uh, so there it is installed at our new location so if we're using two separate hard drives and you don't want to use the default installation location for any apps you install through the App Store then there you have it a way to install them to a different location by default